Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Python Tutorials. Okay guys, one of my favorite festivals is coming up. It's an Indian festival. It's the Festival of Lights, Diwali. It's a beautiful Indian festival and it's really fun because you get to do fireworks and firecrackers. Get some small sparkle sticks and we wave them around and we have fun. And sometimes I even write my name. Since Diwali's coming up, I thought of a really cool idea to make a Diwali dia in Python. I really enjoyed doing this. It was math and logic all combined. So fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're about to ride away. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm here. So I'm going to go to Trinky. It's another online editor for using Python. And let's have some fun doing the Diwali lamp. Oh, new trinket and Python. Okay, and I'm just adding this line so I can use Python 3. Okay, so let's start. We're going to be using a library called Turtle. So let's do this from, so from, from Turtle, which is our library, we want to import star. What star means, it's everything. Everything in that Turtle library. You understand? Okay. So the Turtle library is very fun. It provides lots of graphics, drawings, and like colors. It's very, very interesting. Okay, and you're going to go into depth here. So what I want to do is do a Diwali lamp. So basically it's like a semi-circle and then it has an oval shape at the top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a circle. The circle method takes two parameters, radius and degrees. So I'm gonna enter in the radius it is. So the radius is 90. And the degree is 180. 180, like half of a circle. Semi circle, you get it? I. Uh, okay, now let me run it and see what will happen. Oh, did you see? It became vertical. I need a horizontal. So let me put a left 90. So let me put the left commit. These are all methods available in Turtle. So it's, this is the left. It turns this mouse left. And I'm going to put 90 there. I think approximately that should work. And yep, that worked. It completely flipped it. It flipped it, but it got it in reverse. Oh, come on. Think what I need to do. Hmm, we did this in scratch. Negative 90, bingo. Right there, wow. Do you see, the base is ready. And, and then, look, I'm going, to, I'm going to act. We're facing upwards because the mouse thing is upwards. And now we have to go this way, which is left. The arrow is pointing up. We want it to point to the left, not the right, the left. Okay, to do that, we'll have to do another left. F90, since I would turn it a quarter again. Look, it turned, the power of turtle. Wow, fabulous. Now I want to draw a line going from this end to that end. And since this is 180, we have to make our line 180. So we're going to do, so, sorry, we have to get our pen, our handy pen. Okay, so we, got our, we need our pen down on the paper. The pen is down on the paper. So pen down is a method that will let you use an imaginary pen in the turtle, which will be like drawing based on the commands you give. Pen down and then parentheses. And then we have to do forward 180. I'll tell you why. Because 
if you if you didn't notice, the distance from here to here is 180 because this is 180. So we'll have to do a forward 180. And this was one of the parts I was struggling to when I started making this. So as soon as I figured out this turning left, I was really proud of myself. Okay, and then and then we're going to go backwards, right? To the middle, because we drew the line. So we want to put it pen up, our pen up, not down on the writing, pen up. So we're not going to, uh, write anymore so we're going to do a pen up and then i want to go backward that's convenient backward 90 because that's half of 180 and you'll come right here and then we're going to make our lamp there so backward 90 and let's try this out let's run it okay and it goes right back i'm sure i'm if you didn't see that let me show it to you we go and then we come right back it's really quick it's facing this way okay we need to turn this little bit upwards to drop side not fully upwards then it would go what we want to turn it just a slight 45 degree upward so then it will go into a nice oval shape so let's go 45 degree left 45 degree that left uh, right 45 degree right 45 degree and let's try this um yep right there right 45 right there and then we're going to draw a semicircle once again okay and then we're going to do another semicircle circle and then negative 60 and 90 there and then we're going to so actually let's try this i want to see if this actually gets into a nice oval shape oh i know this isn't yep oh no why didn't that work oh tell me why guys our pen is up we have to put our pen down first oh silly hubby j pen down <laughs> silly me there we go, we're getting that. And then perfect over just the size we need. Now this arrow needs to point down again. We're going, and then we're going to do a right 90 to put it back to the right place. Right 90. And then now we're going to have to do the, another semicircle. So circle, negative 60, the same one, negative 60, and 90. Okay, and now let's try it out. Let's hope this Diwali lamp works. Yay! Let's go, guys! We got our Diwali lamp. Ooh, that looks bland. We need to add some excitement, some color to that, right? Let's go, some color. And Turtle has it for you too. Color. I'm thinking we're going to add a base color brown. I think I'm going to add a base color brown here. And then a gold here for the deal lamp. How do we do that? It's a three-way uh, process. So it's very simple. We set the color. We begin the fill. And we end the fill. Fill color. It's just a way of setting the color. And then brown. And then I'm going to call the method begin underscore fill. And then I'm going to put the parentheses. Just when we finish drawing the base, we're going to end the fill. So let me see. I think, okay, right here at the pen up, right before the pen up. Right here at the pen up, we're going to have to do end underscore fill. And let's try it out. Wow, beautiful. Now, let's go and do the gold. Let's go for the gold. That's a nice one. Okay. 
Now, what would we do now? Fill color, begin fill, and end fill, okay? And just to note that we're done with this, let me just do this once. Okay, I just want to put the crash there to make it look cool. Fill color, or color, and then we're going to put gold! Gold, 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 yay, gold! Okay, and then we're going to a uh, begin fill. Begin our fill. Begin underscore fill. And then right here, we're going to end the fill. End underscore fill. Yeah. And let's test it out. Wow, that's so amazing! Now I would add a background behind the lamp to put some pizzazz into this. And we got it right here. So we click this images button. You need to have a image ready to go for in order to do this. But Trinket is really convenient and it has a box here. If we click on it, it says image. Okay, here we are in the images section. Here we can upload the image in the image library and we can get an image for our background. Let's go ahead and click image library. I wanna upload a new image. Okay, so I clicked on upload an image and I'm going to click to select other images and I have diwali.gif. Okay. And then we have that in. We're going to click done. So all I did was upload an image to my computer so I can use it in my code for a background. So let me add some code to do a background image. So I'm going to create a variable called screen, SCR is equal to screen, SCR, SCR is equal to screen, and then parentheses. And then we have SCR dot setup, like setting it up. I want to set up the screen size to 900 by 600 pixels by 600 pixels. So then I want to do the SCR dot background BG pick background pick and then put parentheses and then do and then the final name is a Diwali dot gif Diwali dot gif. Okay. And now let's try it. Oh, we have an error there. And then, oh, S capital, I guess then. Now let's try it. Okay, and Yep, it's BGPIC. But did not work. What went wrong? I couldn't see my background image yet. What went wrong? Maybe my file name is wrong. Let me check the file name. The, oh, the D capital strikes back. And the picture is going to the side. Let me resize it properly. And now let me run again. Wow, how amazing, All right? This is just a background I collected from the internet, okay? If you noticed, all we did in this turtle program, also if you noticed, all we did in this program was use turtle to do some math with some angles and make magic. You can use turtle to make all kinds of fun images and games. I hope you guys experiment with it because we'll have to wait until the next episode of Python Tutorials on ABJ's Fun World. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Happy Diwali!